Hello everybody, what is up? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pelican Summit 100X. I got it at Academy Sports for $150, uh, which is a great deal for a 10-foot um, recreational kayak. Um, as you can see here, it's made by Pelican. Um, they're an okay company. They, they sell some uh, high-end products as well as, you know, starter kayaks such as this one. Um, as you can see here, they had a um, foam padding that came down right here but uh, that does not last, um, don't expect that to last very long. Uh, the padded backrest, um, that'll be on there for a while. I don't see any reason why this would come off. It's, it's made on there pretty well. Also has adjustable straps here uh, in case you need to uh, adjust it in any way, shape, or form. As you can see, I'm just holding it up by 12 packs because otherwise it would be tipped over. But uh, yeah, so it has this uh, one bungee cord in the front here. Um, and you can slide your paddle in there or uh, you know whatever you please there's not that many usually uh, kayaks have more bungees but this one just has one in the front and uh, also have a bungee strap back here that holds the uh, water resistant um, storage here and I'll show you that and you know don't expect much of this um, it's not gonna last you very long well I, I mean it, it's not that big as you can see here it's about you know half a foot maybe deep um, but that's actually not waterproof you know water will get in there and uh, so don't expect anything that you have to uh, stay dry in there unless you uh, waterproof it yourself which are guides online which I will actually link in the uh, description below how you can waterproof these but yeah, as you can see here, Ram X was the material that this is made with, and uh, TST, which is, um, you know, a high-grade material. That way, you know, it's UV protected, and uh, that way, if it, uh, you can take more hits, you know, if you run into stuff, or if you drop it, or, you know, stuff like that. It's not just going to break. And uh, I did have um, Pelican stickers and Summit 100X stickers up here. I took those off. You can see I did put a sticker on myself, so there's the there's that, and uh, here's the uh, the water drain plug, so a uh, water gets inside of your kayak. You can uh, dip it up, open this up, and it'll drain the water out easily. That so way you don't have to just get it to the middle and tip it over. Uh, here's the carrying handles right here, uh, just plastic. Um, but they're they're decent, you know. If you need to tie it down to the roof, that's what I do. Uh, it's not really coming off. You can see it's not really tied here. It's more of a uh, uh, just threaded around, and uh, this rope isn't breaking anytime soon. So there's that. Let me just show you the front one here. Here's that. And uh, I don't know about in there. Those are pretty well tied in there. I can show you right so there's that so yeah it's a 10 foot kayak like I said uh, let's check the inside out here so as you see here we have the foot pegs which are easily adjustable you know your size shape or form and I keep my hand about right there and this is just plastic I don't know really how long they'll last I've only had the kayak a few days now Brought it out in the water once, it performed pretty well. As you can see here, here's the space we have inside. And so there's a pretty decent amount, you know. And also back here we have foam. That way uh, you are not gonna sink your kayak if you do flip over. So, but yeah, there's not really much room to put stuff back here. See, as there's just foam blocks. Um, but that in front, up here you can, you know, jam. Maybe a tackle box or a, a cooler, a small cooler maybe. You know, whatever you need under there for the day if you're going out for the afternoon in this thing. I don't know if you could really uh, kayak camp with this thing. Um, if you can fit all your stuff, you know, under here. And if you do have, you know, anything you need to put under here, which is not really much, you can do that. Um, here's a cup holder. If you need to put like a drink there or something, you can do that. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, overall it's a good kayak for the price. I would definitely get it. Um, so yeah, guys, if you have any questions, 
let me know if you want to know uh, what kind of uh, paddle I have. I have a cheap one, but I can show you guys that too. But anyways, oh yeah, let me tell you how I did it on the water. Um, it tracks pretty well. Um, you know, being seeing as it's a $150 kayak, you know, you're not gonna have the, the perfect, you know, tracking like you will on a you know, higher end kayak. But uh, you know, it does pretty well for the price. You know, I definitely recommend it. I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Seeing as how you know, the stickers that came on here, you know, don't expect those to last. I took them off, you know, pretty quick. Um, you know, this stuff, if you care at all, it's staying on there. It's not coming off. The logo, and uh, of course the Ram X. If you guys even care about that, of course it doesn't really matter. Just cosmetic stuff. But yeah. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me a, you know question or comment down below, and give me a like. And uh, sorry, this isn't my normal gaming video. I just decided to make a review on this kayak. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's not that bad. It's a little rusty. No big deal. No big deal at all. I mean, what's the little rust gonna do? Oh yeah, and we got this like poo-poo music that.